Well, such an exciting night on, on World Cup night. Of course, Manobo, unbeaten, such a talent. Yeah, as you say, he comes in uh, an unbeaten son. I see the stars, five from five. You know, was, we couldn't have been any more happy and impressed with his only start here in Dubai there. Uh, he's come out of the race well. Uh, we're stepping up in trip a bit further there on World Cup night, um, which I think is uh, yeah, well within his compass. I don't think he's a dour stayer. I don't think he's going to be a, you know, one of his two-and-a-half-mile horses. Um, you know, because I had toyed with, like I say, dropping him back to the mile-and-a-half. Um, but uh, he's in great shape, and... Um, you know, he's a worthy favourite, and he's the horse they've got to beat. But again, he's—I say he's got—he's the horse they've got to beat. You know, he's stepping up in class, and he's taking on some some proper stayers there on 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 Saturday. And um, so, you know, he has got to improve again. But I think he's—I think it's there for him to be able to do that. I think so as, as well. And then, so looking forward to the Alquaz three in there. And difficult, I imagine, for William to go with with Man of Promise over Creative Force. No, that's right. It was a you know a hard call. Um, You've got sort of not a young pretender in Manor Promise, but he's a you know he's a horse that's his pro profile's picking up now. But um, you know he hasn't he hasn't campaigned. Well, he's campaigned at Group One level, but you know he, he hasn't gone off favourite uh, like he probably will do in, on uh, World Cup night there in the Alcors. Whereas Creative Force, like I say, he's a horse that's been there and done it, uh, multiple Group winner and, and and a Group winner at, uh, at over six furlongs as well, Group One winner. Um, so it was a tough call for William, but William did when he slid off uh, Manor Promise there. After Super Saturday, he said, look, if his horse is in the same condition, World Cup night, he says, this is the horse I want to be on here, be the horse they've all got to beat. And um, we're, uh, we're very happy with what we saw this morning. He breathes this morning. The team done a great job in freshening him up since Super Saturday. And, uh, you know, I think William's on the right horse. Interesting. Creative Force, slightly different campaign for him. He was in Europe, as you say, proven at the top table. That's right. Um, uh, and I'm not trying to side with Man of Promise because, like I say, he's got to go a bit like Man of he's, he's stepping up into the big league and, and, and taking the big boys on. But uh, whereas Creative Force has been there and done it, and uh, he turn, he's turning off in great shape. He shipped in 10 days ago, been very professional and adapted very well since he's been here. And, uh, you know, I think James, James is not worried about being on Creative Force, that's for sure. No, you wouldn't be. And you threw me a bit with Naval Crown. I wasn't expecting to see him, but his running in Saudi was huge, given that very difficult draw. Yeah, like I say, it was a you know, wide draw didn't help. He hit the lids very quickly, and, and to be fair, James, I was struggling to get him back. He showed a lot of natural pace there. You know, he obviously won the Al-Fahidi, so he's got that Group 2 pen penalty around him, and uh, going back to Europe, there's nothing really until the Lennox for him, so we just felt, well, let's just try him at this distance and see whether it just opens up a few more doors for him when we get back to Europe. Um, he won't look out of place in a lineup, and I'm, I'm, I'm confident that um, he'll be able to lay up, and I think he'll run a big race myself. He will as well. And then lastly, your beer. I know he's a little bit tricky. What are the things you have to overcome with him? <laughs> Himself, really. Uh, and you really, I genuinely don't know what sort of a year beer could turn up. <laughs> uh, I mean, you, we've all seen it back there in Europe. You know, he's, he's either, you know winning group races or, or, or pulling like an express train and doing it all the wrong way around. But, um, you know, what he did in, in America in the Breeze' Cup turf was phenomenal, really, because I mean, we all saw how hard he was pulling, uh, and they went a decent gallop that day. Um, but the way he finished that race off, I mean, it's to, yeah, full credit to the horse and, and, and William for managing to hold on to him for as long as he could. Uh, he shipped out here with Creative Force, looks fantastic. You know, he's a thought, you know, typical Dabawi, three to four. He's done all the, I've done all the right stuff and filled out in the right places. And, uh, you know, he's going to be a, and it, well, he's already a, and it, been an exciting horse, but it, his career, hopefully, going forward, is going to be very much an international campaign anyway. He's a girl, son of Dabawi, so uh, it's, a, it's a, there's plenty of strength and depth in this year's Shima Classic, I feel. So, you know, he's going to have to be on his A game, but um, he couldn't be any happier with the way he looks, and uh, he's been a big player. Best chance of the night? Best chance of the night, Manabo.